everybody. Here's a quick recap of today's lesson, our inorganic versus organic shapes. Our inorganic shapes are any geometric shapes. So a circle, a square, a triangle, and even my smiley face, those are our inorganic shapes. Those are geometric shapes. They are symmetrical. That means they are the same on both sides. So that means those shapes were inorganic. Our organic shapes, on the other hand, are any free form or irregular shapes or things you might find in nature, like my leaf here. My leaf is not the same on both sides and it's lumpy and bumpy. Same thing goes with my flower. Not the same on both sides. Lumpy, little bumpy. And yes, even my friendly alien, he is also an organic shape because he is not symmetrical and he is lumpy and bumpy. Now I do remember throwing you one that's a little confusing today. My heart shape, if you wanted to know what that was, that is an inorganic shape because it has two straight sides that are connected by a curvy top. And yes, if you divided it straight down the middle, it would be symmetrical. So that is right here, inorganic. What are you doing for homework? All right, you're going to go to your Google Classroom. You're going to watch two videos. You're going to go to your virtual art studio. You're going to click on your Bitmoji Classroom. And you're going to watch that little video on Romero Brito. Yes, I have to change the header. Okay. After you're done doing that, you're going to go down to your digital sketchbook. You're going to open that one up. And you're going to look for the shape video. Take a look at that shape video. Be ready to uh, talk about it tomorrow. That's going to talk to you about shapes and also give you a little clue on what we will be doing for our actual drawing assignment. What are you handing in tonight? You are going to, after you go to Google Classroom, and you are going to find the element of organic and inorganic shapes in your classwork tab. You're going to open that. You will have a copy of the Google slide already there for you to fill out. You're going to either type or draw your answers right here on the line, line paper side, and you're going to tell me what organic or inorganic shapes that you see in his painting. All right. So if you say we see a heart, you're going to type a heart. Could you use the shape tools up here to draw some shapes? Why? Absolutely you could. So say you saw some circles, you could draw some circles. Now, somebody asked me earlier, Mrs. Swistak, some of the inorganic shapes are a little hard to describe. Well, you could certainly describe, hint, hint, a flower is organic, or try and describe the best you can, the different shapes you see, or use your line tools right up here, to draw those shapes for you. Alrighty. Once you are finished, you're going to go ahead and hand it in in your Google Classroom. It's already attached, so you don't have to attach anything. And last but not least, don't forget organic, lumpy bumpy, inorganic, symmetrical, geometric. All right. So have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, ask me questions if you need them. Adios, Alvida Zane, Arrivederci, and Sayonara.